Woo! Hey guys, this is Adrian Zaw. I'm here with Chan Chen. And mm -hmm. this is 10-Minute Talks where we give Gen Z Myanmar Americans a voice to amplify those who can't speak for themselves, especially nowadays in Myanmar where everything is going crazy. But today we're going to be talking about something very specific, the UN, right? Mm -hmm. What they're doing, what they're not doing, and why it matters to Myanmar Americans and everyone who's watching in the United States and around the world. Uh, really crazy stuff. So... You guys ready? Yes, I am so ready to talk about UN. All right. I am so angry. <laughs> United Nation of meaningless. I agree. Well, before we get into that, let's go back and backtrack. There's three things. We're going to talk about what the United Nation does, what they're supposed to do. Number two, we're going to talk about what the relationship with Myanmar is. And number three, we're going to talk about why they're ineffective, impotent with helping save the world and going back to the root cause. So Chan Chan's going to educate us a little bit. Chan Chan, tell me a little bit more about the UN. What, they, what was the history and what are they for? So UN is an organization that is forum to maintain international peace, security, develop friendly relationship among nations, you know, just to hold one nation together. Um, and that's what UN is. Mm -hmm. But is UN really doing its job? In 2021, 2020, before that, century before those? They're getting sure. money. They're, They're getting, getting paid. Money. They're getting paid yes. lots and lots of money. Mm -hmm. But are they doing their job? I think they're just keeping the money they and might not really do anything. Who knows? But yeah. we want to hear from you guys too. Please feel free to comment, share, get your thoughts because this is more of a dialogue more than anything else. And as 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 we fundraise to help Gen Z have a voice, what we're doing is doing something that's never been done before, which is build a Myanmar American community here with a strong support center of resources. And we want to invite more people so that we can give them a voice if you're protesting for Myanmar or, or any other things as that's what we do here at Zaw Studio. So, Let's get back to the UN. Okay. okay. They were created by uniting all these nations to... Correct. What was their goal? Because you, you, we always talk about the UN. We see the little blue helmets, but they haven't been doing what they need to do, right? Their goal is to basically help protect, um, you know, big country, bullying smaller country, or even against genocides, just to make sure that everyone's maintaining peace, same thing with, um, you know, WHO organization mm -hmm. is part of UN, um, just to protect and maintain peace. But UN has failed many, many small countries. Again and again. Again and, and again. again. Um, it's all because the big countries, such as China, France, Russia, the UK, and the US, they're holding the veto power. Mm -hmm. It's the veto power that is causing UN to even move forward. We're just kind of just in a meeting, just it's a having, yeah, just like talking, going in a circle. Oh, you voted no. Okay, let's do it again, and then they go. Because Myanmar is in a time where time is of the essence. Yes. They've cut off internet for the whole country. Mm -hmm. They want to really oppress a lot of people. They've killed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men, women, children, a lot of Gen Z. And though there's tons of peaceful protests, they have been there's been they've been passing executive order to shoot protesters on site and Correct. there's tons of gore, gory gory photos and evidence showing the atrocities and they're begging people are begging R2P people are mm -hmm. begging UN for yes. help and there's they're they're denouncing this dictatorship but they're absolutely not acting on it mm -hmm. and there is one player that is supporting the videoing and there's one player that's supporting the firearms the rocket launchers the missiles the jets that are hurting the people in Myanmar and that is a country that if we talk about it even on Facebook Facebook would censor us yes that's so uh, even Biden can't stand up to them so mm -hmm. our proud United States of America the number one leading uh, leaders of the free world what are we what are we doing we are sort of cowarding behind We're silent very silent yeah so Just hoping to 
let it play out just like what happened in Cambodia. Yeah, this know? is really, really, really disturbing. In Cambodia, there was a million people who were just mm -hmm. literally murdered. Uh, and there was an amazing movie called uh, First They Killed My Father by Angelina Jolie that really gives a a child perspective and this is really important what we're doing is for the next generation uh, what kind of world do you want them to live in and what kind of world do you accept your children to grow up in if you let this happen so let's bring it back to the UN and three topics so we talked about the UN and figured out what the UN was for and how they're not quite there and number two right now Myanmar is in need of the UN's help more than ever more than ever and they can do something about it but they haven't right yes uh, the great example was um, Ucho Mo Mm -hmm. who was hired by the military to speak on behalf of them. He literally just ditched the military. He said, freak it. I'm just going to literally ask for help. Like, help us. Like, was begging. And the UN was like, oh, you guys need help? All right, we're going to tweet about it. We're going to tweet, gonna about, tweet it. about it. Oh, you're getting murdered? We'll tweet yeah, about it, brother. We're so sorry. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to use Twitter as the platform to attack the military. Where the military is just killing us. They don't care. We love that you're tweeting about it, UN, but also since they cut off right. internet, it's fallen on deaf ears. Yes, we cannot retweet you. We can't do anything. We can't even say thanks for the nice kind words yes. while we get shot in the head yeah. at point blank, uh, unarmed citizens. So there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of complexities, but what this does is give an amazing opportunity for Gen Z all around the world mm -hmm. to get a better picture of the world that they're growing up in and they're Correct. growing into. And if they want to be the change that they want to see, if they want to make a brighter future, they're going to have to raise their mm -hmm. voice, not just tweet about it, but do something about it and we want to hear from you in the comments what do you guys want to do about it what do you think we can do about it and this is more of a collaborative invitation for those who want to speak out and speak up and do provide some assistance what can we do to save more lives and prevent a, a genocide another genocide from happening um, for our sponsors and donors who uh, uh, supported the GoFundMe, GoFundMe.com slash Gen Z Saves Myanmar, we really appreciate it because your investment shows that you care and you want to invest in Gen Z to have a brighter future. All right, guys, this has been heavy, but it's so important. And Chen Chen, thank you so much. Now, to other Gen Z, what do you want them to do? Well, I do have a question for you guys. My question is, what can we do to pressure UN to really send out R2B and really help out instead of just tweeting, just being concerned, going around the circle, voting and voting again? What can we do as Gen Z to really put pressure to UN? Yeah, that is my question to you guys. That's our question to you guys. Mm -hmm. Please comment, give suggestions, tag someone you think that can help, that can care because we're doing this grassroots, meaning yeah. with nothing, nothing. Our, even though the donations come in, we haven't even touched that because we're saving that to build that strong foundation for that community that's never existed ever in Myanmar American societies and communities. Mm -hmm. So in Los Angeles here, we don't have one and we're trying to build one. So if you want to join us, please let us know and uh, contribute and share. Um, Really? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we want to say thank you guys so much. Again, uh, comment, share, and uh, we love to hear from you. Um, that's it for it. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, up next, Federal Army. Good, yay, nay. Who's going to keep them in check? And should Myanmar have the Second Amendment right as we're trying to pass more gun control mm -hmm. since obviously we think we don't need it but Myanmar definitely yes, does definitely need it. yeah uh, tyranny does exist in today's society so does oppression so uh, that's a big elephant in the room we leave it up to you guys thank you guys so much for watching I'm Adrian Zal and I'm Chen Chen see you guys next week see you guys next time bye